Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Curtain Mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Heavy Welfare Spending Lover. But right now we're doing continue the economic dergizma, or however you pronounce it. We've got some comms to go through as well, and uh, yeah, it's not 1966. In which I think for now, what are we going to do here? We've done a lot of this around here. We can do some of the stuff down here. Remove our membership at CETO. Enact them to chair policy. Create the agency de Bassin. Not bad. Um, start the Mosul Mosul canalization, inaugurate the Mont Blanc Tunnel, reformation of military service. Oh, now it's France will leave NATO. Oh, is that historical? Um, we saw the military stuff we can do, but since we're gonna race down this way, like I said before, just because I think that'd probably be for the best stalemate. Left victory. Oh, what sixty-seven? Huh. Perform nuclear tests in the Pacific. Well, I think withdraw from the NATO integrated commandment. Sure. Well, we're going to also probably try to create the new Police Nationale. Get some stability. Get some political power. And get the reorganized high command. Get more division organization. Recovery rate. Probably will create the Sikomi. Uh, minus 1% consumer goods for 30 days. Not bad. Create the Leti as well. And probably go and create state directed growth. Get two lines of uh, industrial parks. And build the Paris Lille Auto Routes. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I didn't realize. We can't get Brazil to pop it because the game is just being the game. So, obviously we don't have enough political power, but we... Get, they have 70 billion in GDP. We have almost 200 billion. I didn't know that until the end. So, as we go in the future, I'm going to make sure we do okay. Oh, Harold Wilson is here too. Social democracy, huh? Increased agricultural subsidies. We are, I would say, rapidly catching up to them in GDP. West Germany. Actually, we got a bigger GDP than them. It's Ludwig Erhard, you sound really fam familiar. Hmm. Hmm. And you guys have 88 billion, which is actually not bad at all. It's not great, but not bad. Uh, 86, 46. Uh, Italy is doing 120, so we're actually doing not bad. Spain is quite a bit as well. I forget exactly who we're trying to influence next. Ooh. Actually, no, I remember now. We are currently trying to influence Denmark. We have 49% influence, which is... You know, Denmark is Denmark. It's not a huge nation, but it'll still serve its purpose. But, but a couple comments included. Um, Stalin was reworked this patch, and they added a path. The Des added a patch, or a path, where you can live longer past 53... Uh, someone says, in TNO, we should play to Iskandovich, path for two men. Uh, someone also says, it'd be nice if we play West Germany and unite Germany as a socialist under the SPD. Uh, okay. Uh, someone asks, where's Gandhi? That's a good question. What is India up to right now? Let's see, we have the city of Iran down here, Pahlavi. We have the Pakistani people. And we have, well, we do have a Gandhi. And Indira Gandhi, but probably not the Gandhi that people are thinking about. Oh, Bangladesh is not free yet, huh? Okay, well, and in the meantime, I'm already on advanced education system, heavy welfare spending. Um, also, I think, yeah, these guys popped out too, like I said earlier. You know, friend for the liberation of oppressed peoples. We'll put it like that. Um, these guys are still hanging out. They hate the mainland China. Is that his normal portrait? Liberal conservatives. Huh. Okay, but we do have the guy right here. Antonio de Oliveira Salazar, which is very nice, actually. But we'll see what happens. Well, we've just finished our last focus of building the Paris Lille Auto Route, but now we have the 1967 legislative elections. Now, that being said, we have the Union Republicaine Repo Populaire Victory, a stalemate, or the Union Republican Populaire Victory. Oh. Huh, or Left Victory. But at the same time, the entire reserve fleet set sails, with parts of the reserve fleet already having set sail. The rest of the reserve has now completed recommissioning work and sailors flooding onto them, as well as naval aviators preparing their aircraft. Numerous carriers, battleships, cruises, and too many destroyers account will set sail as the largest ship deployment since the Second World War is taking place. The Navy made a statement that mentions the protection of American interests and the lives of all American sailors aboard the ships at sea. They must prepare to take any action necessary in the defense of America and our allies. Because for some reason, LBJ... Has gone to war with Cuba. Wait, we're having a Fidel. Wait. Um. Uh. Undermine the anti-war movement. Of course, he would do that. Train Uruguayan death squads. Ecuadorian junta. Bay of Pigs. They attempted to assassinate him. Operation North Woods. Um. This is very weird. Um, I don't think we actually went to war with, uh, anybody. 
Uh, after World War II, I mean, we've gone to conflicts, but we don't have actually declared war on anybody. So, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what to do about that one. But, at this time... Um... The Republican, I don't exactly know which one it is, or who won, but it might be the PCF, actually. Um, let's see, who won? Let me double check. I believe that the URP did win, so go with that one for now, which doesn't really do too much for us. We can force the Economic and Social Empowerment Law, um, but maybe first, uh, Viva... Le Quebec Libre? Wow, that went really crazy with conservatism. 50% more seems a bit a bit much, maybe. Maybe that was maybe the wrong one to do. I couldn't tell. Like, I, I think it was pretty much that one that did win. Oh, it was my lion. I think it wasn't definitely still me. It definitely wasn't a left victory, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it was a URP victory, but it could be wrong. So do uh, Viva Le Quebec Libre, De Gaulle World Tour. We'll definitely force economic and social empowerment. And uh, I'll probably do the oh, assassination of Trujillo. Well, if you wonder about that, please go ahead. And then we'll probably redo the motion of censor fail. Israeli victory against Syria. And the motion of censor pass. Oh, well. I guess things are going to happen. And here we are, at everybody. In which, apparently, the we did the force the economic and social empowerment, but it failed. The, we got the event, but it just said it failed. So, there was literally nothing to show. Except that we failed. Um, yeah. But right now, we're condemning the Jewish expansion of Israel. Uh, we could condemn American Vietnamese strategy, which... Uh, I'm not so sure about condemning them. I mean, they don't exist. And then, of course, France-Luxembourg border rectification is very nice. That'll be... That'll be so nice. Especially in Vietnam. It doesn't make any sense. Like, Cambodia's supposed to be having, like, a civil war type deal. Uh, not really much is going on down here. Not gonna lie. Um, these guys still exist. But at the same time, Cuba died. Welcome, America, to the 51st state. Good job, LBJ. You didn't have Vietnam, but you have Cuba and a drug efficacy amendment. Well, apparently we have Le Figaro, a general strike. The Maoists are out. The second day of La Sabon, which is from uh, May 1968. Oh, 68. This is 69, but... The riots expanded the Quartier Latin. Multiple far-left organizations attended. Occident, or the accident, Occident came to remove them. But was pushed back. The Quartier Latin became a battlefield between the police and college students. Oh, man, I don't know. They, I, I think it's a suggestion for the future. The devs should put it in a way that, that says like, "Oh, this one's historical," because I, you know, as much as I try to look up all this information, sometimes I can't really tell. Um, the police can't stop students. I don't know. Call us defeat, huh? So I'm gonna go. With, the police stop the students in negotiations with protesters, I guess. We can repress them, but massive revolt. Oh. Grinnell's agreements. Because I, I don't know my French history that well. And I'll be honest, probably no one else really does that much. Wait, we never had the Algier coup. But, uh, I mean, some people will, but for me, I mean, like... M L LBJ, please, you are such a war hawk. Holy crap, dude. LBJ. Come here, yo, Johnson. You're at war with the Warsaw Pact. Oh, General Strike. Multiple deaths during the breakdown of a strike. It's Pompidou meets De Gaulle. Eight million, eight millions of people are in the streets. Uh, it lights the spark of revolution. Are we? Are we gonna get cooed here? So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. No guarantees, of course. No guarantees. Don't mind me. We're just gonna go to Malaysia, and uh, keep influencing them. I was just doing some nuclear tests in the Pacific. Don't worry about it. No worries. Um, there you go. Cool. And we have only 68% influence, which is not bad. Uh, I guess we'll negotiate. Why not? Eh, 71%. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get to 90% just yet. GDP is looking okay. Uh, so they can know 3 interoperability. But yeah, America's at war with the Warsaw Pact. And it's just America. Probably the United Arab League down here, too. Or Republic, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't want to get involved in that conflict. Actually, you guys have half a trillion, huh? Pompidou meets De Gaulle, dissolves the National Assembly. I'll be honest, man. I, I, I literally don't have any idea about this. I know there's a lot of issues, though, um, in France in 68. 
But let me see. So we have a Pompidou. Let's see. Pompidou. Um You can even pump it do. Alright, well, we'll see. Um And De Gaulle fled, actually, historically. He refuses the request to dissolve the National Assembly. Alright, well. But Oh oh goodness. Oh my goodness. He has fled De Gaulle fled the country? Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, I, the devs need to definitely put in the historical route because he doesn't accept it, but de Gaulle dissolves the National Assembly to call in new elections. I, 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 if the devs want this to be, like, have the historical thing actually happen, because, I, like I said, I just don't know, like, different countries' events. And no textbook is really going to say that unless you actually get a very specific country textbook. Like, what? Find a, your average American and ask him, what was May 1968 like in France? Who's going to know that? Who's going to know that? The Prime Minister saved the day. We'll see about that. We get new elections, though, for 33 days. Um, so, in which I'll probably have to figure out what's going next. Large Gaul's victory. French si Civil War. You could have a civil war. You could have salvation of France. Downfall of the regime. Maoist France. Elections to 69. Um, well, god dang. No revolution, probably, but... That's why France is not fun. Like, what, what the heck, man? Uh, for according to Wikipedia, the legacy of May 1668, for a reference point in French politics, possible liberation for others and other dangers of anarchy, it ended, meant the end of traditional collective action and beginning of a new era to be dominated mainly by the so-called new social movements. Um, okay, well, that's nice. Uh, French elections of 1969. Yeah, this is, a, I don't know, France... France, France is a pain in the butt. I mean, it really is. France is a pain in the butt. So, so the 1969 French presidential election took place on June 1st and June 15th of 1969. It occurred due to the resignation of President Charles de Gaulle on April 28th. So, let's take a look here. Actually, you can't see it, but I can see it right here. So, okay. And now, who's going to win next? Pompidou, huh? Large Gauls victory. It'd probably be Gauls defeat. Referendum. Referendum of success and failure. Well, I don't know about the Gauls defeat. Um. Yeah, the Gauls, I think, won. Cool. Yeah, this is kind of. kind of weird. Kind of crazy. A lot of different left parties here. France is just, like I said, it's it's the devs need to put in historical like this is a historical decision because who's going to know? The army intervenes. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like that idea though. I would like to see the army intervenes, but like I don't have time for that. So unfortunate, but large Gauls victory because that's a more historical option. And I guess we'll do the referendum of 1969. Got a ban on strikes. Strikes are temporarily banned, so no more striking. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. This is something that does not interest me here, so... Just... All this upheaval. You can't really tell what's going on. So... But, apparently, Pompidou became... President. Georges Pompidou. He died in 1974. It wasn't that old. 63? Okay. Top paid uh, President Charles de Gaulle. Well, alright. Good for him, I guess. At the same time, I still want Malaysia under us. That's all I care about. Military Police 3, Riot Control? Well. Could definitely use more Riot Control. Reliability bit on this is not bad. Malaysia. Start influencing the nation. Please and thank you. They have negative debt. The games of the 19th Olympiad, huh? The summer games were a success. He's going down. Thailand's going down. Financial reserves. We definitely have more GDP than them, so. Yeah, we're not going to have PP, but we get about three and a half a day, which is actually pretty strong. Heavy welfare spending is really good. Charles de Gaulle until he leaves. Um, so, yeah, not bad overall. 
Oh, uh, who's sitting down here, huh? Wait, who's this? Wait, the K Karen? We've got a Karen here? A Karen National Liberation Army. What? Kachin Independence Army. Deutschland Treff of 1964. Very interesting. Oh, there goes those guys. Referendum. Referendum success. On the regions. Oh my god. I don't know. How the hell would anyone know? Plan Calcul. Um. Referendum. I guess I'll have to double check this. So. I'm not entirely sure. But I think I found a page on the 1969 French Constitutional Referendum in France, in France on 1969 on April 27th. And it was rejected, actually. So we got that one, I think. But we're going to go and do, continue doing a plan colocal. Uh, we're going to do the resignation of de Gaulle as well. Um, so there's that, as well as the full shit reform. So I'm not entirely sure... But I think I found a page on the 1969 French Constitutional Referendum in France, in France on 1969 on April 27th, and it was rejected actually. So we got that one, I think. But we're going to go and do continue doing a plan colocal. Uh, we're going to do the resignation of De Gaulle as well. Um, so there's that, as well as the full shit reform. And now we have the 1969 presidential elections. French underscore elections dot three dot d. Complete the focus elections of 69. Gets the event in 1974, presidential elections, in which Georges Pompidou, like I said earlier, did win. So, the UDR wins. He's got some smiling guy here, who's got quite the large bulbous nose, does he not? We have a limited inscription. I guess we can go lower. Uh, however, I do want to wait to do that one. Create the Agence de Bassin, which we're, of course, still doing, like I said earlier. Got some other stuff to do here. Get some research stuff done. Um, I've just been doing, like, I'll be honest, like, Reducing the fade in, fade outs to this episode, I've literally just been doing other stuff at home, so, like, it is what it is, but, like, even, even like, this is why fade in, fade out so much, just because it's, what the heck is the direction of town? Oh, I never did that one. Oh, no, I found it. Uh, solid core nuclear stuff, rocket stuff, very cool. Oh, and we probably need this one, too. Expand the civilian nuclear program? Why not? We could probably use that, right? Um, so we're going to continue going on with the reformation of the military service, of course, like remove membership, enact the empty chair policy, and now it's France to leave NATO. We'll probably save this one for last. I don't really want to leave NATO. You know, it's kind of useless now that America's at war with the Warsaw Pact. But at the same time, oh, we get the Frank devalue. That hurts us an incredible amount, but we do get a lot of political power. We can also relax media restrictions, remove Gaulist media, which is not terrible, actually, to get rid of, and Gaulist social repression. Oh, okay. And the condemn anti-clericalism. Welcome, my friends, to the 1970s. We're on April 12th right now. We just finished work and remuneration reform, which gave us worse consumer goods, a little more stability, and production efficiency growth uh, for about 75 days, which isn't very much. We're going to increase relations with the Americanos. We'll probably do industrialization of Paris, as well as modernization of Paris. So it's good to industrialize and modernize it. As we are still slowly moving through this focus tree, even though... I guess technically we should be getting another one by the end of this uh, of this uh, path. But we'll do this one. We'll do modernization. We'll do all these. Probably this one at the last before we do this one. We'll probably do paternal equality between men and women. And then establish the SMIC, which kills a little bit more of our consumer goods, but gives us slightly more stability and production efficiency growth. Well, everyone, it's March 24th-ish, 1971, where we're finally reforming the military, but unfortunately, that's pretty much all the time that we have for today's video. Um, I haven't done all this stuff yet, and now we can almost leave NATO if we really want to. Uh, hopefully we can, if we really want to. I do want to do, like, all the focuses before... Lessons of Algeria, huh? Before we get to this one, so we'll do a couple more off-screen. I'll do a few more off-screen. Like I said earlier about the establishment of SMIC, which I want to wait to do. We'll do relationships or relations with former French colonies, which sounds like a good idea. You know, we still have a lot of colonies beneath us. Um, we'll probably also do social welfare. You get a lot more political power, but it does hurt your consumer goods, which is kind of a, it's a give and take, which is not bad. Like I said, do that one. We'll do Aryan Space. Uh, Aryan Space? Aryan Space Program sounds very German. And probably fund the academies and maybe further urbanize further urbanization of the countryside, and a TGV project? A TV project! But before we go, I do want to let you know, we did puppet Greece. 
which honestly sounds like it's going to cost us more in the end anyways. But well, nothing really changed. We got him as a puppet, but... Also, uh, uh, Hanukkah? Cool. Um, we have Denmark, and I, I don't know what to do with their money. So I've just been paying off like everyone's debt. I'm not sure what to do. I know we're just so generous here. Oh, well, we try to pay off everyone's debt, as long as we have influence over them, so... Yeah, and apparently... I, I think Italy's a little bugged. Earlier they went third position. They really went fascist, but now they're monarchists. They went the Italian Social Republic. I'm... I'm not entirely sure what's up with the mod, but regardless, Tricky Dick is here. He has so much negative debt, he actually probably has a surplus. Half a trillion in GDP, which we're almost 300, tri 300 trillion ourselves. But hey, that's all the time, like I said, that we have for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a fat like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we influence more countries and hopefully declare ourselves as a global nuclear power. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.